Okay, now so we made a file system inside the same computer. So this this computer can manage ticketing system. This computer can see everything inside your company, your inventory, your license, every software that installed on each computer. Now this computer can offer documents, and this computer can um, add users the ability to for them to to upload anything to your computer or anything that you want from users to be submitted so we are done with um, portal ticketing system and file system you can do a lot of stuff in this you have to just play with it just right click on it and see what other options do you have in this you can take out the download option so let's say one type of users they want you want them to download but then another department you don't want them to download so you can just click on this right here and it will take out the download no download option from them uh, you can do a lot of stuff you can change icons and all that stuff so this should be running all the time and this this these two things should be always running so you'll see this right here and then HFS both of these things are will be running all the time to be able to achieve this um, from here so then what we're going to do now is uh, we are done with portal system we are done with a uh, with ticketing system so now and then the cool thing about it when anyone that is downloading anything from your computer the IP show over there you'll see the IP address who's requesting from your computer or whoever is accessing your file so you'll see the IP address okay so the next step was to now that you have all the system you want you want to see you want to control all the the you want to see what's going on in your company or do you want to uh, you want to uh, um, give support from one computer and for that well, we will need another software and we're going to download it on this computer we'll go to google.com wrong address oh I don't know what I'm typing so once you go to google.com you'll type this I talk I T A L C and then you click enter and then click on download okay so once you click on download click on here continue and then click on official build so the new version for iTalk is 1.0.11 which is a very good interface they changed the whole interface it looks really good professional and is this is updated uh, but the best version in italk was 1.0.09 that was the the best one and you can see how many downloads were there before when this uh, version came in you can see right here 220,000 uh, right here 220,944 downloads for this version and that's a lot of downloads uh, and so you can see this version was pretty successful and this version whatever it has uh, it, it, would, uh, it would do it without problems 1.0.110 has a lot of problems with mouse so I wouldn't download this one uh, if you would download this on XP your mouse will get stuck so uh, this one is not recommended you can download this one it's a new one it has all the ability but one problem that I noticed that you cannot show your your screen or you cannot show your screen to another screen so you can show your demo to other screens I'm not sure if it's I tested on two XP computers operating systems and it didn't work so I would go for this 1.0.9 if you want that uh, option but for now we'll just go download the latest one and that's 1.11 so we'll click on it and then wait for the download so that was the download right here I'll just say click save and it start downloading So once iTalk is downloaded, you'll just click on it and run. Okay, once you run, you just click next. I agree. 
next and then you should select this one I talk service and all talk master and both should be selected now you can uncheck this one if you don't want this Babylon and this it will run and we'll just wait for it to finish the downloading okay so once it's done you will see the italic right here and run key setup tool you can set up a key now that we'll be using for a client machine so just click next create a new pair this is for the first time if you're doing you have to click on this one and then click next this is important right here you'll just leave these two alone and on the bottom you'll just click right here and I will plug in a USB or a share drive or anything that where you will save this key that you will be using for clients so for example my this is my USB this is just an example I don't have a USB right now so this is my USB and I'll make a new folder in there and say that I talk keys okay and then I'll just click on it and click OK so my key is will be saved in there now finish once you click finish everything is done then quit now double click on I'll talk to see how it's gonna look now I'll talk is starting up no configuration file found the first time it will ask you this so it's okay click okay so the I'll talk is open right now and you can start managing computers here so for example you have uh, 25 computers or 30 computers and you name them um, computer 1 computer 2 to computer 40 you will do is first you will add a a computer uh, add a classroom actually this is made for a classroom but it can also be used for a lot of other purposes so you can add a classroom here and then you can say that uh, my company my company or whatever once you click on it then you can start adding computers in there add a computer so add a computer is uh, uh, let's just add the same computer where you, you, you're you using so you can see how it's gonna work but you're gonna be using not this computer you're gonna be using clients computer make sure you don't use this computer because if you lo start locking them all it will be locked too so this computer name is sample I click OK and then just click on the plus and you can add all these 40 computers in one place right here okay so once you're done just click on this sample double click on it and then it will start over here it will tell you what computer uh, it will automatically if you install the client it will just pick it right here the first screen should be black and then it will go to the real screen then okay so you can see right now that my client is working and it's the same computer that I'm using and you can see I can see my computer in there I can click on start and over here you'll see right here you'll see the start coming up right now so it's because I'm using virtual machine it's kind of slow in there but inside you can see it's working in there uh, okay now you can see it's refresh so now you can see that I'll take it away yeah, it's pretty slow with this virtual machine but you're not going to be using this with virtual machine anyways okay so now this is the computer that you want to control and or you want to uh, take a test on so you just right click on it once you right click on it you'll see all the other options that will be available to you and then you can see this remote control we live lock display uh, and send a message so right now I can only do this send a message because if I try to do anything else it will take over my computer that I'm uh, showing the the video on so let's do just simple send a message hello so then click OK once you click OK you will see the message coming up right here now so this is how they're gonna see you can change this teacher to support or administrator and how you're gonna do that I'll show you right now so just go to settings here 
click here and then change this to just click on this right here and administrator supporter or other yeah, you can click on one of these and I'll just show the name or that whatever you want you can power down the computer you can power them on you can log them off you can log in you can log on at, at once let's say you have 40 computers you want to log them on you just click on here and type the username password and the domain name or if they're not on domain just click on work group or leave it alone and just click ok it will automatically type everything for this computer and log them on so this is how you control or see them your your users live what's going on in your environment and you can take a snapshot right here you can right click on it and take a snapshot right here is take a snapshot so you can do that you can do a lot of stuff so this is one way to keep control of your computers uh, logging them off or blah 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 you can do a lot of stuff so that's one of the management so what do we do in this whole thing we got spiceworks to inventory to see all the computers your what what is installed in there like inside your computer your your hardware system and all that stuff then you have hfs to uh, and this can also a portal leaves you a site so and then we added a HFS that gives you ability to share files between each other with restricted options or blocking IP or add anything. And this one gives you an option to see all the computers, what's going on live and remote control uh, instantly. Take a remote control or uh, because in RDP, if you go to computer one, it will, it will, you can only log in as an administrator. You cannot see what's going on in the user side. So with iTalk, if a user has a problem, you can see right away on your computer that what problem is he facing or you can take over in his profile with a limited access because they cannot do a lot of stuff, but you can. So the third video will be, uh, the fourth video, sorry, will be a program, another ser server that we will install on this computer, which will also see all these computers, but it will have ability to install a software updates or anything that you want to on other computers without a user without your intervention or without disturbing users you can also select the time that you want these users uh, you want the software to be deployed so it's a deployment solution so that will be the fourth video and then this computer will be a master computer you will do everything from this computer for free no cost at all so stay tuned for part four